how our family got into the business when dad decided he wanted to be a hairdresser and that was in the 60s I just seemed to naturally fall into it. We normally have between 110 120 people in our business. It varies between about 40 and 50 apprentices at any one time at various stages of their three-year apprenticeship. There are more salons on the high street in the UK than any other kind of business and in the past few years that's been growing. Hairdressing plays such an important role in our society. Um, I think it's often taken for granted the effect it has on people's well-being. The client and the hairdresser relationship is such a special magical bond that you know you build up over time and you become their friend you become the trustee of, of what they're wanting to do a relationship like no other sarah is being one of my longest clients and i think we were discussing i think it's about 18 19 years that i've been doing her hair and there's probably nothing that we don't know about each other you know Roz has been my stylist for about 15, maybe 20 years. She's done my cut and my colour and we really formed a good relationship. She's done my graduation hair, she's done my wedding hair, she has cut my hair before the birth of all my children. When I was diagnosed with cancer back in 2019, Roz was one of the first people that I told and she kind of counselled me through what was going to happen. I was, I was going to lose my hair. She's been, in that sense, a kind of a friend for me and she made my, my well-being much better through all these key moments in my life. And you go on these life journeys with clients. And there's lots of moments that really strengthen the relationship. It's not just the hair, it's about the feeling in the seat, it's about how you've made them feel on the day. I think it's definitely a unique person that can, can do that and deliver that as well. I think a lot of people don't give hairstylists enough credit for that. Lockdown actually showed a lot of people how valuable their hairdressers were. But also from a wellbeing perspective, I think they do play this key role. The value of being touched of going to the salon and having your hair washed and the well-being and feeling from that um, is immense. You have to go to a salon to have your hair done. You cannot replicate that. After the first lockdown, it was like coming home to the salon, to my other family. It blew us all the way of how much we were valued and it is just shows you how hugely important we are. Our industry is all about relationship. We're really lucky that we get to work in that. And we get to go to work and we get to enjoy that interaction every day for in society and on our high street. That is what we as an industry deliver and we do it every day. how creative hairdressing is as a career. It's the most diverse industry that I can think of. We get to create amazing imagery, we get to travel the world, we get to work with fashion designers, we get to stand behind a chair and work with the most amazing clients. Every day that we work is a different day. You never get bored being a hairdresser. My favourite part of my job is probably the creative side. I'm doing photo shoots. Some of my best friends are photographers and designers and coming into the salon, laughing with all my friends, making people feel good, making people smile. It's such a rewarding part of my job. Being a female entrepreneur in this industry is incredible. I get to set my own boundaries. I get to work at my own speed. I get to work the hours that I want to work. I think the opportunities that this industry has for females is huge. You can be whoever you want to be, but the most important thing is I can do it on my own terms. I came into hairdressing because of the opportunity it has to offer 
being able to travel within this industry as well is a really big hit for me. I'm an apprentice. I've been doing hair for about four years now. I love being able to be creative and just be myself and I'm really loving it. It's so much fun. I got really good grades in school. I went to sixth form and I've got A-levels, but I knew I didn't want to go into university and I wanted to go straight into work. Um, my pursuit in life is just to be happy and hairdressers are the happiest employees, so I knew that's what I wanted to do. Coming into the salon every day, making people smile, giving people confidence. Being creative can kind of bring back your childlike self as an artist. Um, but instead of painting on a canvas, your canvas is the hair. I chose to get into hairdressing because creativity. You do learn a lot about yourself in this industry. You never ever get bored and it's just a really fun job where you're making people happy, you're alongside your teammates and it's just really rewarding. The hairdressing community has really managed to connect through this pandemic. Whether that's us speaking with our clients, and making sure that they're okay or connecting with other hairdressers and seeing what each other needs. It's one community and we're all there to support each other. A lot of people felt like they lost their identity during the lockdown and it feels like such a special responsibility as a hairdresser to give that to someone. We express our identity through our appearance and us as hairdressers help people do that. One of my longest standing clients, when she first came to me, she had really long hair and we didn't realise how curly it was until we cut it all off into this little asymmetric bob and it kind of helped give her more of an identity and it's really boosted her confidence. She even has it on her business cards now. People recognise her in the crowd for this little curly asymmetric bob, which is really special as her hairdresser to have given her that and that confidence. Hairdressers can't be replaced by technology and we can't be replaced by computers. It's been shown how important the human touch really is and we should celebrate the fact that hairdressers play a vital role in society. In 2014, I saw a guy on Facebook who was cutting homeless guy's hair in New York and it really struck a chord with me. It, it reignited my love for hairdressing. I think the most powerful thing that we do as a hairdresser is we can change someone's day, even their year. Now it's sort of taken for granted in a salon in environment, but when you come to someone who's not been touched, looked at or spoken to, it's a very profound thing. As hairdressers, we're fantastic communicators and it's something you really need when you're going to work into a, a sector where you've got vulnerable people. We've got over 600 volunteers and they're so great at it because they come in, they've had years of talking to people, making them feel better, listening to their troubles, and that's what we do. Doing haircuts for homeless, I've met so many amazing people. The first one that always comes to mind is at the Whitechapel Mission. It's a lovely lady who's always there and her name's Pippa, but she comes back every day to come and see everyone in the morning. Whenever I saw her, I got the biggest hug. There's also a young lady uh, uh, from, from Ilford used to come and get a haircut and, and I didn't see her for some time. And then maybe a year or two later, got a lovely email from her saying that she'd uh, moved, moved away to get away from her circumstances. She'd then got accommodation, she'd got into, some, into work, and she said, uh, I'm having a party and I wanna, instead of presents, I wanna, I wanna send people to give money to haircuts for homeless. I was just blown away. I can't tell you the feeling um, it was that someone had really not only moved on, but you know, I remembered the part we played in it. It's that, that connection with normality that's really crucial, I think. And, and I had it when I went to one of our projects, it was St James's in London. They was waiting for me outside. And then my son, on, I hadn't been able to go for a few months. It was like seeing old family, you know. 
and then he brought me to tears because they were so pleased to see me. They were saying how much they'd miss what we do. Hairdressing is such a crucial industry. It, it, it reaches far out into the community. Hairdressers themselves uh, are so valuable with what they do. It, it's not just cutting hair. It's more than just a haircut. I felt so proud of being a hairdresser. Always have done, even to the point where my own son's gone into the industry, you know, and uh, he, he, he's uh, really enjoying it. I never used to think the skill set of hairdressers recognised enough until maybe the pandemic, <laughs> because Whoever didn't appreciate us before, sure as heck appreciates us now. <laughs> no matter how things are, I love every minute of it. And not many people can say that after over four decades of doing something. So it, it's, it's more than a job. It's a career. It, it's a way of life. Um, and as I say, I've been doing it over 40 years and I'm not tired yet.